Welcome back to my channel. So, I got requested to do a specific topic under R, uh, which is data manipulation with DPLYR. I actually was trying that and I was, uh, I had started a video, but I do not know R. It did not go well. So, I'm going to go to the introduction to R course, reset my progress and start on this all right so we have them adding three and four we're gonna add six oops plus 12 and so if i run code uh three and four is seven six and twelve is eighteen uh submit a All right, so this one, they've added five and five, subtracted five and five, multiplied three and five, used division, uh, 10 over two. And, and then we're expected to do two to the power of five, mod six, um, six. Um, this makes me wonder what one parenthesis does, because I, languages that I have had more experience with, you'd use only one parenthesis for modulo. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run code and see what happens. Uh, this. Oh, two to the power of five is not two times five. Okay. 32, and then 28 mod 6 is 4. Submit. Alright, continue. So that's basic um, math, so it's, it's a pretty common. So to assign the value of 42 to x, we write this little arrow thing instead of an equal sign. That's a bit different out the value of the variable x so i'm guessing that that's how you print is you just type the word x or the letter x you just type the name of the variable so assignment of a variable is going to be a bit different yeah and this is saying that um when you do an assignment operation it doesn't output the value of the variable well we didn't output it at that line that's common in, in most languages that I've seen. Suppose you have a fruit basket with five apples. As a data analyst in training, you want to store the number of apples in a variable with the name my apples. Okay, so we have a variable called my apples, and we want to assign value five. And then Print out the value is my apples. Run. Uh, print it out five. Submit. Great. All right, next. Every tasty fruit basket needs oranges, so you decide to add six oranges. As a data analyst, your reflex is to immediately create the variable my oranges and assign the value six to it. Next, you want to calculate how many pieces of fruit you have in total. Since you have given meaningful names to these values, you can now code this in a clear way. Okay, yeah, so we create a variable called my oranges and we assign the value six. Now, for some, oh, we're adding them together. So my apples plus my oranges. Okay, so it's gonna print the answer to that. Now we're creating a variable called my fruit, which would be the fruit basket, and it has oops. And it has the value of the total number of fruit 
in the basket, which means my apples plus my oranges. So if I run this, there are 11, which we get from line 6. But there's nothing else that's printed out. This says if you just change my apples to equal 12 instead of 5 and rerun the script, my fruit will automatically... Well, no shit. Sorry. If we change this number, then this will be different. Yeah. Okay. That's the way that they work. So, from what I'm reading, it's saying that this cannot be added to this, which makes sense. You're trying to add a string and an int, and that um, there are some languages that will try to deal with that, but that's not uh, something that you should commonly expect to work. So, you should change this to be a 6. So that you're adding integers together. Now, just out of curiosity, if you tried that, what would happen? Oh, you cannot uh, add with something that is not a number. Okay. All right, let's, or I should have run that, but anyway, let's submit. Good, great, awesome, continue. Basic data types in R. So we have decimals, 4.5, are called numerics. Whole numbers like four are integers. In integers are also numerics. Boolean Values, which is true, false, are logical, and text or strings are called characters. And the, the quote marks indicate that it's a string, but these are called characters. Change the value of the my numeric to 42. my character variable to universe note that the quotation marks indicate that universe is a character and my logical to false capitals run code and note that R is case sensitive. All right, great work, continue. We use this class function to check. It's gonna check the class of, of the variable that you put in the parentheses. So this would be similar to in Python, I think it's called type. You do type and then you would do my character. And then when you run that, it would say, I think, I don't know what Python's variable types are, but let's just say it said string. So in here, it would say character. And then we're going to do my logical run code. I'm only talking about Python because I did those on here. All right. My numeric is a numeric. My character is a character. And my logical is a logical. Submit. Congratulations. Okay, that was the end of this chapter. I'm going to stop here uh, because I actually spent a lot more time than this sounds like because I started the other course, which I'll have to go back to, but maybe I can just finish this uh, intro course and then skip over to data manipulation with DPLYR. Wow, this does quite a bit. Okay, here's data frame. That's good. Factors, matrices, vectors. Wonder how much of the math I'll be able to do. 
All right, I'm gonna press continue. I'm gonna go back to Data Camp and thank you for watching. I hope this helped in some way. Uh, I am gonna go farther into R and then I'll go back to the intermediate Python at some point. But this was good because I was kind of curious about R anyway. So uh, let me know if there's anything that would help you more. I'll try to uh, work on that as well. And uh, have a good day.